A gentleman told the boy to bring the double the number of mangoes for every time he climbs a tree. Then the boy thinks that at the end of tenth climb, how many he could collect. Such scenarios can be addressed by the use of geometric progressions. Now observe the lists shown on screen. In the first list of numbers, each term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by 3. In the second list of numbers, each term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by 1 by 4. Whereas, in the third list of numbers, each term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by 0.8. From above list of numbers, we observe that successive terms are obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed number. Such a list of numbers is said to form a geometric progression, ZP. This fixed number is called the common ratio or of ZP. Now, let us consider that the first term of ZP as A and a common ratio R. Then to get the second term according to the rule of geometric progression, multiply the first term by the common ratio R. Then we obtain second term as A into R. Similarly, to obtain third term, multiply R with second term AR, then we obtain as AR square. Hence, the general form of the GP is as shown. From the above ZP, the ratio between any term except first term and its preceding term is R that is as shown. If we represent the first term of ZP by A1, second term by A2, nth term by AN, then we obtain as shown. A list of numbers A1, A2, A3, so on up to AN is said to be a geometric progression GP. If each term is non-zero and AN by AN minus 1 equal to R, where N is natural number and N greater than or equal to 2. Let us do an activity. Choose which of the following list of numbers are in ZP? Some more examples of ZP are Vinay writes a letter to four of his friends. He asks each one of them to copy the letter and give it to four different persons with same instructions so that they can move the chain ahead similarly. Assuming that the chain is not broken, the number of letters at first, second, third stages are 1, 4, 16, 64, 256, so on respectively. And the list of numbers are in GP since each successive term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by the number 4. The total amount at the end of first, second, third years and so on if rupees 500 is deposited in the bank with annual rate 10% interest compounded annually is 550, 605, 665.5 and so on. And the list of numbers are in GP. Since the common ratio between two successive terms is same. A square is drawn by joining the midpoints of the sides of a given square. A third square is drawn inside the second square in the same way and this process continues indefinitely. If a side of the first square is 16 centimeters, then the area of first, second, third, so on. Square will be respectively 256, 128, 64, 32 and so on. And here, successive terms are obtained by dividing the preceding number with 2. Let us consider a pendulum which swings through an arc of 18 inches. 
on each successive swing. The length of the arc is 0.9 inches, more of the previous length. So the length of the arc at first, second, third, so on swing will be respectively 18, 16.2, 14.58, 13.122 and so on. And the list of numbers are in ZP, since the common ratio between two successive terms is same.